Have you ever been grinding away, stuck in your job, feeling like there's limited potential, limited opportunity for growth, new opportunities to excel, looking for new challenges and wondered, especially as you're looking at different guys on YouTube and they've got amazing tools and shops and wondered how in the world have they done that? Um, I asked the same question. Now for me, I picked a path and I'm grinding down that path and uh, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what my normal day looks like and uh, you might be thinking, I like my office job. But today I find myself in a torn up, nasty bathroom. Now this bathroom had all kinds of problems. Tub was leaking, toilets leaking. Oh, let me show you the drain. So on a drain pipe for a vanity, so you have your sink, water goes down through P-trap and goes into a pipe, it goes down, down the drain into a main stack and out to the, your septic tank or out to the city. So what happens? when you have a pipe or a renter that lives in something that looks like this. Now, as you can see, nothing gets through that. <laughs> so I have tenants living in this house and they've been here like five years. So instead of going down the drain, somehow the water went up into, there's a vent pipe so air can draw down. So it goes up into this wall comes across into this cast stack pipe and the water was draining from the vanity down into this. So I had to cut that out, snake the, the air vent side of that just to get it open enough to where it could drain again. And then come in, replace this with ABS and run it back down in, into the main stack. So you gotta be wondering, how do I get out of my office job? I don't know. I do this most of the time. I'd had a professional job for, I guess, 10 years or so out of college. I worked in the healthcare administration side, um, desperately wanted to, to have some new options. I watched guys, you know, doing um, house flips and all that kind of stuff. And re investing in real estate was always very interesting to me. And the problem is, if you've got a full time job, <clears throat> when in the world can you do it? My answer was on the weekends. And so I lived in an area where really didn't have any opportunities on houses for good deals or good flips. So we would drive three and a half hours on a Friday night down to near my hometown where we would work that night. If, well, I usually didn't work that Friday night because it was just too late because I'd come down after work, um, get here, work all Saturday, um, sometimes work all Saturday night into Sunday morning, go to church, um, take the family, drive back, and be back to work on Monday. So a miserable grind that we did for years. Well, eventually, I got enough properties so we would fix up some houses, and I didn't have the money. We were just saving up what I could from my job, and I bred dogs and did whatever I could to get a little extra money, and then I would buy a house. We'd fix up, I mean, ratty, ratty houses. This kind of stuff is the norm if you're looking for very basic, not not very basic, very intro level um, bargain, basement bargain prices on a house, you're gonna be dealing with some issues. That's all we could afford, so that's what we did. So we'd fix some of those up, sell them, take a small profit, put it into another house, and you do that a few times, and then you can hang on one of the houses and still have enough to get started on another flip. And we've done a lot of houses while I had a professional job. And it was a miserable grind. And then it got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore. It wasn't worth it. And so we, um, I don't know if it was we, I decided, my wife I don't think was as on board, but I said, if we get to this many houses, I'm out. And I'll, I'll try and do this full time. And uh, that's what we did. So um, kept finding these cheap, cheap houses, kept putting all the labor into it, mostly myself. Um, she comes and helps doing some of the finish work, but uh, it's tough. And so then you might be thinking, well, how do you get into that um, without the knowledge? You, you YouTube everything. You buy books and you study everything you can. And you run into different problems and you solve that problem. And then you uncover another problem and you open up a new wall and you just keep going. Um, and if you buy right, hopefully you don't lose much money. But the hourly wage of this kind of work as you're paying yourself or the return on money is awful awful i've i don't know that if i've had a worse paying job so like on this house i'll spend i might be here for a week or not a week i might be here for a month or two 
And all that happens is when I get this thing back online, after I've invested sometimes $20,000, $30,000, it starts pumping out $1,200 or $1,400 again. Um, and so it is a very, very slow process to build it up into something that uh, is successful or lucrative. Um, but this is my journey. Um, I hope you guys uh, keep trying to work on something that can add to your shop, add to your tools. Uh, but it's a, it can be a slow process. Don't get hung up on, on different ways where guys are like, man, I, you know, I turned a million dollars in six months. It can happen. Um, but uh, maybe I'm not smart enough on that. I don't know how to work hard enough, though I, I put in my hours. But uh, it's a fun, fun journey at times, and it is miserable much of the time as you're working towards your goals. But the biggest thing is have a goal. Um, figure out some tools you want or some skills that you want to get. And then if this is what it takes, crawling around in the crawl spaces, fixing these, you know, rotted out uh, floorboard, not floorboards, but the floor joists, whatever these are, um, do it. Uh, just keep moving forward, pick up new tools. That, that's one of the fantastic things. So I've got, at this point, I've got a lot of different tools. Um, so the tax benefits of having some rental properties and, and buying tools that you need to fix up these houses makes a lot of tools available in the arsenal that you'll need as a, as a maker or building different things that you, that you wanna do. So um, this is where I find myself at this point in life. Um, jack of all trades and master of none. You guys might feel like that, but uh, take on the challenge, keep learning new skills. But as for me, I'm not some rich YouTuber that uh, was given everything. I have slogged away too many hours in crawl spaces and ripping up nasty houses, turn them into something beautiful, find some place to add value, and uh, the world will be a better place. As for me, I'm gonna get this floor prepped and these walls prepped to uh, get the plumbing brought up for this tub and shower surround, so I'm gonna get back to it, and I'll see you in the next video.